Hi, I'm Luca, and in this video, I will cover how to create a basic swim lane flowchart diagram for beginners using Microsoft Visio in 2020. This method is super simple and is the best way to map a process when more than one person or department is involved. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss new weekly content. Anytime during the video, you can check out my show notes and links in the description below where I've listed out great resources and tools used for this tutorial. I've also included a bonus tip, so check it out. Now let's get started. When you first open Microsoft Visio, this is the screen you'll see. Select cross-functional flowchart, then select create new, and then uh, Visio will automatically put two swim lanes in there. And you can see on the left side here, there's all of your uh, quick shapes that you'll need. Uh, you can add another swim lane by simply dragging it over. You can uh, change your title by double clicking on it and uh, typing in your uh, the process name. Go back to the left side, you usually start with a, um, a starting uh, shape. Just double click the shape and you can type in the words that you want to write. So your, your, your process step will be the, um, the box and just double click and type in these, the, you want to type in your major tasks in this uh, box and then simply go to the quick connect and you can uh, drag an arrow over to the box. So if you, the swim lane now, you want to name your swim lane, which is going to be basically either your department or your, um, the person doing all the tasks. So anything that that's, let's say for example, service department, any task that the service department is doing, you want to put their process in their swim lane. That's why it's called swim lane diagram. So another cool function that it has here is that um, uh, if you click the arrow to the left or the right, uh, a new box will show up. So you click it below and then you see that Visio automatically added a process box. So it helps you save a little bit of time there. Once again, click the, click the right arrow, new box comes in there. And here's a cool part. Now the diamond shows you a decision that has to be made. And uh, we, we show that with a diamond. And so you'll see how I, I do that here. So are you gonna accept your quote in this case? Uh, if you liked this video so far, please give it a th big thumbs up below. And if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, let me know. So in the first case, after a decision diamond, you'll either have a yes or no, um, or, or some type of decision. So in this case, it's very simple. It's going to be simple, yes or no. Uh, so if you do proceed, then we're going to order the parts. However, if you as a car owner does not uh, like the quote and you want to stop, you're going to put an end note here or an end process and type in no, and your process ends there, right? So that's one way that your process can end. Now, assuming we are accepting the quote, we're going to proceed with ordering and receiving the parts. We're going to continue with the process here. Going to our, our last swim lane, where our mechanic is going to perform the repair. Now, once again, always go up to that quick connector tool. And all you have to do is drag where, to the points there. Now, Visio adds a little uh, dots there that help you do the quick connects. So now we're going to be sending the invoice over to the client. The client's going to pay for the invoice. And then this is the other way that the, their process is going to end. So just connect the process steps again with your your process flow arrows and uh, we've ended guys. So now you can always touch it up and move the boxes around, but there we go. There you have it. Great job.